Okay, SOS family, welcome back to Power Building with Calisthenics Replays. Now, let me just say this real quick. For those of you guys who do not like these replay videos, you simply do not have to watch the video. You can expect these videos, the replays, to happen pretty much after every official episode. So since you can expect that, you can just be like, you know what, let me just watch the official episode and let me just skip the replays because it's just not for me. Because as I said in the first episode, these videos are for those who really just like sitting down and analyzing how one is lifting and just helping others improve. Not everybody is like that. But just because you don't like it doesn't mean I'm going to eliminate it because you simply just don't want to skip a video. Some people really just want to sit down and actually watch the replays and see, okay, you know what, you can work on this here, Simon. You could do this, you could do that, it worked for me, blah, blah, blah. So again, if you just want to skip the video, it's fine, it's cool. Just expect the official episode to come out and the replay episode to come out. Okay, so the first thing I always want to show you guys, for the most part, is my bench because that is my weakest lift and that is an exercise that I'm doing twice a week. I think it's the only exercise powerlifting exercise I'm doing twice a week. I squat twice a week, deadlift once a week, but the squats on Mondays are back squats and on Fridays they're front squats. In this clip right here, I think this was my third set, right? And as you can see, the weight goes up pretty fast. It's one plate, so 135, and while I'm lifting, while I'm actually lifting, it, it feels a lot harder than it actually looks. Like in the video, the the speed is the speed is amazing. It's easy. I'm not even struggling. But then when I'm actually lifting it, I can feel myself reaching that limit for my five rep max. So it probably will be about 155, possibly even 165 if I pushed the, if I pushed hard enough. Now to do 165 for five sets, yeah, that probably will never happen for a good while. But in terms of just my form and everything. I feel like my back tightness is improving a bit. I'm still having a lot of trouble keeping my back tight. And that is where you guys come in. You guys can continue sending me points down below. The points you guys gave me in the previous episode, or the previous replay, I, I actually used it in episode five, which you guys will see on Thursday. And I think you guys will really be proud of me when it comes down to my benching form. Now the next exercise I'm gonna show you guys is the squat. And the reason why is because something somebody actually pointed this out in the video today saying that I wasn't locking out. And that was something I noticed. When did I notice it? Was it in this episode I noticed it? But I noticed that I wasn't really locking out at the hips. One thing about me is that I didn't really care about locking out at the hips when I'm squatting. Only because I care more about just being able to bring the weight down and bringing it back up to the point where I'm able to re-rack the weight if that makes any sense so therefore i'm not failing if i'm not able to re-rack the, re the weight that means it's a failed rep so pretty much my depth is my depth is still pretty freaking nice it's probably not totally ass to grass like ass like my ass is touching the ground but my hips are going below my knees which is pretty important to me and i feel i just feel the depth it's just the it's just i have a bad habit of not locking out when I'm standing back up during the squat. In that first squat clip, I'm doing 155, and as you guys can see, the speed is, that is, it's crazy. Like the speed is pretty nice to me in my opinion. Obviously that weight isn't my max five reps. I could do more than that. That's why in the next set where I'm looking all crazy and my do-rag is about to fall off, I'm doing 165. That's my last set, I think, and look at that speed. The speed is still nice and I do 6 reps at 165. So you guys comment down below what you guys think I can actually do for 5 reps for 5 sets. Now let me explain something to you guys real quick. Let me explain to you guys why I keep wearing that cloth on my head as you guys call it. It's called a do-rag guys. Now number one, I'm growing my hair for those of you guys who don't know. That is why my hair looks all messy and nasty. Some of you guys keep saying, yo, why don't you just get a trim, cut your hair, whatever. First off, I'm not going to cut my hair because it kind of makes it hard to grow your hair when you cut it off. But I'm going to be getting a trim, so a lineup and like a taper fade and everything in March when springtime comes, when the weather is hot and I'm showing my head a lot more again. The reason why I keep wearing the do-rag is because it keeps my head protected from the hat, the cotton hat I wear, and it keeps my head protected from the cold so that it doesn't get all dry. As you guys can see, I have pretty curly hair, okay? I'm half Trinidadian and I am half Jamaican, so I got a lot of my curly hair from my dad. I don't know where he is, don't ask me. But anyway, 
that is why I am wearing the do-rag and that is why I am not cutting my hair right now or trimming up my hair right now okay so I hope you guys finally understand don't ask me anymore even though you guys are still gonna ask me for those of you guys who don't watch the videos and as you guys can see look in the clip my hair looks a lot shorter because I took off the the do-rag as you guys can see my hair is not as short it is actually even longer than this my hair is pretty long okay my hair is pretty long is that is that look at that look at that length look at that length look at the length from, from the side of my head all the way out to here. It's pretty long. It's probably about two inches. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys leave your input and feedback down below. Give me some tips. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to y'all next time. Stay blessed. I'm out of here. Done.